you guys, Uncle Jesse here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can directly 3D print onto fabric to create your own cosplay armor-like material. I saw this concept over the weekend thanks to Hackaday and Shory Designs, who shared off this really cool concept of 3D printing directly onto Thule to create this really cool effect for a variety of different purposes that you might be interested in. For me, I immediately thought this would be amazing for cosplay. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the steps of how you can do this for yourself. Let's check it out. So how this works is you're either gonna create a file or download one from online. I got these dragon scales off of Thingiverse and I'll include a link to these files directly down in the description of the video. What you're gonna do is print the files on your 3D printer and after about the second or third layer, you're gonna pause your printer and lay down some of this Thule fabric. This is almost like a fishnet nylon material that's very porous and what it's gonna do is you, if you secure this down to your print bed, you're gonna resume the print and then it's gonna print directly on top of the nylon fusing the bottom layers and the upper layers together. If I flip this over, you can get a better view at the bottom of this and how it printed along with the infused nylon in between the printed parts. So to make this a little easier on myself, I did find a code online that I can insert into Simplify 3D, which is the slicing software I use. So again, this might be slightly different for you users that are out there on Cura or other slicing softwares, but I was able to find this code that I can put in that basically is gonna tell my printer to stop printing at a certain layer height, move the extruder over to one side, and then, which will allow me to lay down the fabric, secure it in place. Then I can hit resume printing and the print head will go back to its originating spot and continue printing. So what I did is I copied this code and then in Simplify 3D, I go under edit processes. And then under scripts, there's a section here for additional terminal commands. I'm gonna paste this in here and change everything that says 19 to three. So this is saying that originally it was saying just pause on the 19th layer. I'm saying now pause on the third layer. So you could change this to two or four or 10, whatever you might want it to be. And then again, it's going to pause the printer, move the print head out of the way, allow me to put down the fabric and then allow me to hit the button to resume and it will continue printing where it left off. Click OK, and then now I can prepare my print and get printing. And here's the results of my design and print. Again, this was a super basic hexagon shape that I designed in Tinkercad and just replicated and repeated in a pattern that I liked and then put over in Simplify 3D and printed on my printer on this Thule fabric. And I should mention you're not limited to these little spools of Thule fabric. The Thule rolls that I'm using, I picked up over at Walmart. They're about $2 a piece. They come in a variety of colors. They're um, six inches wide by 31 yards long. This is more than enough to last me a very very long time, but I should mention you can get these in much larger strips or fabric pieces. So if you wanted to do a whole shirt or gown or dress or whatever it may be, you have plenty of options out there and can certainly experiment with different fabric types. This was what Shory Designs was using, so I immediately went and used what I knew worked for him and has worked for others when printing directly on fabric material like this. So I just wanna say thanks again to Shory Designs and Hackaday for sharing this initial concept out with everybody. I thought it was absolutely awesome and super creative when I saw it, and I can't wait to see what everybody else takes and runs with this that are much more creative than I am. So hopefully this video was helpful for some of you out there that are interested in doing something similar to this. All you need is a 3D printer, some Thule fabric, and a whole lot of creativity. Make sure to share with me any of these project builds over on social media, I would love to see them. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe let me know down in the comments what you think I could potentially use this for in an upcoming build because I'm racking my brain right now trying to figure that out myself. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey, if you liked this video and you're interested in supporting the channel, I've got a link down below where you can buy me a coffee. That's right, buy me a coffee. This sounds so awesome as it clings together. Also, it makes a good beard scratcher.